What's going on everyone? I'm Hunter Doyle here from Philly Insider and Inside the Eagles and we've got some injury news, some COVID activations and stuff today and yeah we're going to be talking about some birds. So we've got a big schedule ahead for you guys that we'll be talking about later with the bird stuff coming up, you know, the content we're going to be doing this week. We've got a hype video, we've got a live call in for you guys and we've got our usual preview show. So we'll be making sure to be getting a lot of content out and you guys aren't going to want to miss it. So First off, getting started with the injuries and all this updates and stuff, I want to first address they've activated almost everyone who went on the COVID list. So I'm going to go through the list real quickly. Jannard Avery, Fletcher Cox, Marcus Epps, Dallas Goddard, Nate Herbig, Jordan Howard, Avante Maddox, Rodney McLeod, Boston Scott, Alex Singleton, Jack Stoll, and that is pretty much it. So pretty much everyone is back from there. So that's great news. We got all those guys back as expected. Now, they have placed J.J. Ortega Whiteside, Tyree Jackson, and Brett Toth on injured reserves. Just to talk about all those guys quick, J.J., I know he dropped a touchdown in the game where he was really getting his only opportunities as a true wideout because he only ran 27 routes before going into that game, on the whole season that is. So he's running almost like a little over one route a game. So that tells you kind of about his role, right? He has played snaps, but he's been a wing tight end or he's been blocking on bubble screens. He, I mean, especially in his wing tight end role, he's actually been a pretty crucial part of the run game. So I do think that's going to hurt us a little bit because he has such a unique role, and I'm not sure who else is going to fill that. In addition to the fact that Tyree Jackson is now hurt. Look, I know Tyree Jackson, he doesn't you know, get used in the receiving game a ton. Shout out to him for getting his first touchdown, though. That was awesome on the shovel pass. But he is also a key as a blocker because we use a lot of 13 personnel. And Richard Rodgers, you know, he's a guy who's going to come in. He's going to know the system. But he's really he's a pretty weak blocker, in my opinion, at least. You know, you see him coming across formation on split zone when he has to block the ends and just kind of dives at the legs and not really even diving at the legs, sometimes diving at grass, whereas he, you know, obviously that does, you know, serves the purpose, but you can't do that on regular blocks sometimes. And, you know, Richard Richard Rogers is that's a little bit of concern to going up against the Bucks defensive front. So those two are concerns. And then Brett Tote, that actually something I, I was thinking about it that is a little bit of a concern. You know, if our offensive line stays healthy in the game, we're fine. But we've seen Toth play center. He was listed as a backup guard at one point. He, we know he can play tackle. He is kind of our guy who can play anywhere along the line. Like, we've had guys like that before. And that's a little bit concerning if he's not going to be able to go and someone goes down during the game. Depends what position, obviously. You know, if my lotto goes down, we've got Dillard. You know, but, you know, there are certain spots. If Kelsey goes down or anything, you might have to move her big. Doubt, doubt Kelsey will go down. But, you know, I'm just saying there there is a little bit of a concern there because you got to make sure you got, you know, sufficient backups for all the spots. We do have a pay that he can play both of the guard spots, so that helps. But, you know, if Lane Johnson goes down, that is a little bit of a worry for me. You know, I don't I don't know if, you know, I'd rather have probably have Brett Toth out there than Lil Raven Clark. We haven't seen a ton of Lil Raven Clark, but, uh, you know, I do, I do worry, worry a little bit about him. But we'll see. I mean, you know, I'm not going to worry about that now. We are fully healthy on the offensive line. We got her big back, like I said. So I'm not going to not going to worry too much about it. But that's pretty much the updates. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of, you know, update on what's coming on the channel this week, what's going on with the Eagles right now, other news. Matt McCrane got released from the practice squad kicker. They keep bringing him back, releasing him, all that stuff. You know, whenever their spots open it up, it just gives them flexibility. And they worked him out, so they won't have him as that safety kicker option. But, you know, he'll probably be back within a day. And carry on Johnson to get released. So, you know, that's another one of those things. You don't know what's going to happen. But, oh, also, last thing, Jason Huntley was signed to the active roster. Props to him. We did an interview with him. I, I put it in our community tab. We, we love Jason. You know, I've written a lot about him. He's a player I've really covered. I really covered a lot this offseason and coming into his, you know, first season with the Eagles when we claimed him off waivers right before week one. I think he's got a little bit, you know, you saw he's got some twitch back there on those kick returns. And with Jay Jaw out and, you know, you don't know what Miles' status is this week. I guess maybe Sirianni said something about it, though, or maybe we'll hear a little bit more about it as the week goes on. But you have, you know, maybe Kenny jumping into a little bit bigger of a role at running back. Or, you know, like I said, with JJ out, maybe they use Kenny as kind of that fifth wide receiver in emergency situations, right? So, you know, maybe Jason gets a little more run there. Or maybe if Kenny's used a little more in the offense, maybe they want Jason back there doing kick returns. He looked good. I mean, again, like I said, good vision, good good burst, good twitch back there. And he's a good running back, too. He's one of those guys, he's a good pass catcher, and he, he can definitely hit the hole. They did some stuff with pulling guards, even with the a makeshift offensive line out there of guys who hadn't played all year. They had pulling guards. They had all these different concepts they were implementing. Not all the stuff I've gone over during the L22 stuff this year, but, I mean, still pretty impressive, and props to them. So props to Jason Huntley. He, that was well-deserved. It was 
a long time in the making. I honestly thought he should have been on the roster way earlier this year as a kick returner. Um, but we, we obviously have a crowd of running back room, so I'm not going to complain about that too much. But I'm very happy he's on the active roster for the playoffs. Shout out to him. We love you, Jason. We're looking forward to seeing you play, man. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all, guys. So run Booby Run. Hopefully he's back this week. But if not, run Boston Run, run Jordan Run, come, run Kenny Run, run Jason Run. And fly goes fly. God bless y'all. We'll see y'all later. Peace.